One of the first and most important steps in any SEO project is doing keyword research. Keywords are exactly what they sound like. They're the search terms or phrases that you're typing into Google to find a particular business or service. So we need to figure out what keywords we want to target. Okay. The easiest way to do this is to pull a free keyword report from Google. So log into ads.google.com. If you've never done this before, it's going to walk you through an ad setup. Just walk through that and then in your Google, um, Google Ads dashboard, click Tools and Settings and then go to Keyword Plan. So three options are going to show up. Discover new keywords, get search volume, uh, and organize keywords and ad groups. For a new website or a new project, I would recommend going with Discover New Keywords. So we click here and let's, let's walk through this process for our fictional personal training business. So what we're going to do is type in some keywords just off the top of our head that we think might be relevant that people might be searching for um, to find our business. So maybe people will be searching for like personal trainer or fitness trainer, strength coach, yoga coach, um, fitness expert, one on one personal training. So there's a limit to 10 keywords here. We'll just put in six. And then here, you can enter a site to filter out and related keywords. We're not actually going to do that because our site's not live. But if your site had been published and indexed by Google, this is a cool way to, to help pare down some of the, the unrelated keywords. So we got six keywords in here, and we're going to hit Get Results. OK, so it's going to take you to this screen. And you see we have over 1,000 keyword ideas available to us now. So what I like to do here is sort by average monthly searches to see the most popular keywords for my niche. So if I click there, now I can see a personal trainer near me, me personal trainer, trainer, certified personal trainer, strength trainer, weight trainer, um, are all uh, high volume, high volume search terms that I can target on my website. And suggest some more more ideas up here. Maybe we can do health and fitness trainer and get those results. So there's a couple things going on here that I want you to take, take a look at. Here's our column of keywords. Here's the average monthly searches for those keywords. Competition is how fierce the competition is estimated to be by Google. And then these two numbers are important if you end up running Google Ads. So that it's the um, their estimate of the, that the lowest you'll pay for a click and the highest you'll pay for a click if you were advertising and trying to get to the top of the page. So it's the top of the page bid. Okay. So once I have this information, what I like to do is then download the keyword ideas. So we click up here and you can download it to an Excel CSV or Google Sheets. I usually use Google Sheets because it's free and it's easy to share with, with other people. So we're going to hit Google Sheets and we're going to rename it something like Leslie Adams PT keyword stats. And I don't care about the exact time. So now we'll download that. Give it a sec and it's going to pop up up here or down here rather. All right, the report's been downloaded to Sheets. So now we can click Open Sheet and it'll take us to Google Sheets. And now we have this shareable spreadsheet we can send to our coworkers or our business partners or our clients, whoever you're working with. Um, and you all can work together in the spreadsheet. So I usually, to format this, I'll remove these first two columns. And then I'll make the uh, headings column more noticeable. So I'll bold it, maybe put it on a background. And then I'll get rid of, just because there's a lot going on here, I'll get rid of some of these unnecessary columns. So I'm going to delete the currency column. We know we're using USD. And I'm going to delete all these other columns because I'm not too interested in the month by month search volume. Maybe you would be if you had a more seasonal business, but we're just going to um, assume that's not too important for a personal trainer. So we're going to delete those columns. Now we're left with this. And now the last thing I want to do is select the column B and I'm going to change this to numbers and move those decimals over. And then I'm going to sort this from Z to A, so basically from large to small. So now I'm going to delete these, um, with these keywords with no searches. Now I can sort my spreadsheet and I can see the most popular keywords by search volume. Okay, and it's going to be stuff like personal trainer, personal trainer near me, certified personal trainer. 
So now with this keyword report, keyword report, I have a much clearer idea of what keywords I should target on my website, what I should use in my text, and what I should use in my meta tags and alt tags. And we're going to get into what all those tags are very shortly.